20 years ago this week, about 100 men and women of the L.A. City Fire Department flew to Ground Zero to help in the recovery effort after the September 11th attacks. Our next guest was one of those firefighters who was part of a volunteer group. Captain Dustin Clark from Fire Station 88 in Sherman Oaks joins us now to share his story and tell us about a virtual memorial event this Saturday to help honor our heroes. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning, Frank and Jess. It's an honor and privilege to be here and speak with you and your viewers. Well, I appreciate it. And I, I just want to ask, I think everybody uh, can only imagine what it must have been like for you and your team at the time arriving to Ground Zero just days after the attacks. Uh, what was it like for you in that moment? And what were you tasked with doing? Well, uh, looking back 20 years, uh, trying to remember the first time I laid eyes personally on uh, the pile uh, we ended up, uh, we're overcome with a, just every range of emotion you can imagine. Um, the event or the moment captured seemed surreal, almost uh, like we were stuck in a movie. I just know the members that I was with uh, back there, we had overcome so many hurdles and challenges just to get back to the East Coast in that time of uh, absolute peril and chaos. Uh, we knew we'd been trained and we prepared ourselves for that day and we were honored to end up being uh, given the opportunity end up lending a helping hand to our uh, brothers and sisters uh, back at the FDNY. As I understand it, you spent 14 days in New York helping in that recovery effort. Can you talk about the lasting impact that that mission had on your life? You know, Frank, I, uh, I'm very thankful that you ended up asking me this question because uh, the impact that that ended up making on me personally, I, we don't have time to end up discussing in uh, length and detail. But if I was to tell you one thing, uh, that incident ended up giving me a benchmark or threshold, if you will, to end up knowing what I can end up training our future firefighters on how to end up being ready, uh, not only mentally, but physically to end up uh, raising, rising to the occasion uh, to be able to, let's just end up saying, operating proficiently and safely in that type of uh, environment and responding to an incident of that magnitude. Um, preparation for the next generation, that's uh, basically my role right now in the fire department get uh, position this fire department for the future, uh, if you will. Captain Clark, on that day, we know the world changed forever. Our country certainly did. And now as we approach that 20 year anniversary, what lessons do you think we can still learn from that day? I know I, one thing looking back and thinking back on that is, is how so many of us came together and especially being in New York at that time. You remember how New Yorkers leaned on one another. Um, talk about that if you would as well. Well, uh, let's just end up saying I'm going to echo uh, what you just end up stating. Um, the lessons are long. Uh, there's so many that we can end up learning from. But the one that ends up holding I hold close and dear to my heart is the uh, sense of togetherness, the sense of uh, the country, not only New Yorkers, but uh, all Americans end up coming together as one, standing united and uh, showing their uh, respect and dedication to this country and that is the largest lesson that I want to end up making sure that I end up uh, reflecting on and embracing was the sense of togetherness. Um, I think we could use a little bit more of that in this day and age with all due respect to all parties involved. <laughs> I think you're right about that Captain. Uh, 2004 a 9-11 memorial was unveiled in front of Fire Station 88. Can you tell us about that? Yes, absolutely. Some dedicated and heartfelt members of uh, the Sherman Oaks community ended up coming together and arranging for, uh, let's uh, say, a piece of uh, the Pentagon and a uh, I-beam from uh, one of the towers. Uh, they logistically ended up making arrangements to get those uh, transported across country and uh, ended up building a beautiful memorial outside of Fire Station 88 in Sherman Oaks which has given us a place to end up uh, having the community come and reflect and uh, pay respects to the nearly 3,000 people that paid the ultimate sacrifice on that horrific day. You're also having a virtual memorial event called Celebrating Our Heroes. It's this Saturday. You're inviting Angelinos to attend. Uh, what can we expect from that? Well, this was uh, the community's way of uh, ended up paying respect on this 20th anniversary. Um, it's a beautiful, uh, collage of uh, members that end up responding and uh, brief little captures of memories in uh, photo form that ended up uh, placed together in a 
beautiful arrangement. Uh, I have not personally ended up seeing this uh, service, but it will end up being streamed uh, on the Internet uh, at firefightersheroes.com, which I believe you end up having the information for, and I'm looking forward to end up seeing what they put together. I hope your viewers uh, appreciate it and uh, enjoy it as well. Well, Captain, thanks for, for sharing these lessons with us and, and for what you and, and the folks at Station 88 do every day for us. It's an honor and privilege to be able to serve the great city of Los Angeles, and uh, I am humbled uh, by this opportunity to speak uh, to your viewers. I want to thank you, Frank and Jess, for uh, allowing me to let you know what's going on here in uh, our community. Thank you, sir. Thank once, you, Captain Cole. Yeah, once again, Fire Station 88's 20th anniversary memorial event celebrating our heroes will be happening this Saturday, 7 p.m. To watch the event live, you can go to lafdheroes.com.